Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can enter and view some simple graphs on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll be using the menu key that looks like this located here, the exe or execute key that looks like this located here, the X or variable key that looks like this located here, the F1 through F6 keys located across the top here, as well as the delete key that looks like this located here, and the exit key that looks like this located here. To get started, first we need to go to the graphing app. To do that, we want to hit the menu key to bring us to the main menu and then scroll down to the Graph app. We'll select it with the EXE, and there we go. That brings us to our graphing function menu where we can enter our functions. We'll start by entering a simple line of y equals x plus 1. So to do that, we use the x key here, plus 1, and hit EXE. There we go, it's now been entered. If we want to view that graph, we can either hit EXE again or F6 for draw. We'll hit EXE, and there we go. There's our line on our graph. We can move around on our graph by scrolling with the arrow keys, going left or right, up and down. And if we find we've scrolled away and want to go back to our original position, we can do that by pressing Shift. F2 for zoom, scroll to the right once with F6, and then choose F1, O-R-I-G, or original. And that brings us right back to our original position. We can also zoom in and out with the zoom function. Like for example, if we press shift, zoom, F3 for zoom in, we see the cursor flashing there, and if we hit EXE, we've zoomed in. If we want to zoom out, we go Shift, Zoom, F4 for out, hit EXE, and we've zoomed out. To go back and enter another function, we can hit the exit key. There we go. Let's say we wanted to modify our initial function. Let's say we actually wanted to enter x plus 0 0.5. To change it, we just scroll up and then use the arrow key to scroll right across the function. We'll use that delete to delete the one and then enter the 0 0.5 and hit exe. There we go, we've now modified that function. Let's enter another one. Let's enter 3x squared minus 1. So we can just scroll down to our y2 and enter the next one here. So 3x squared minus 1. There we go. Now we've got both functions entered. And if we want to view them, we can hit the exe twice. And there we go. There's both of our functions. If we wanted to turn off a function but not delete it, we can do that in our function menu by scrolling over to it. And you see the highlighted equal sign there beside the y equals 1. If we choose F1 for select, we can select that on or off. We've hit it once. The equal sign is no longer highlighted. Now if we hit EXE or draw, we'll do F6 for draw, our line is no longer visible. To turn it back on, we just go back and hit F1 select to re-highlight that equal sign. And now both functions are visible. We can also change how a function is displayed. For example, let's say we wanted to differentiate between the two. Let's say we wanted Y1 to look visually different. We can do that by choosing the F4 style key here. And we see four different style or visibility options here. So let's change our Y1 to this dotted line here under F4. 
you can see here on the right hand side, it shows what it'll display as. So if we hit EXE, now our line is dotted, easily differentiating the two. We can also use a box zoom to highlight a specific area on our graph and zoom in on it. To do that, we can hit the F2 key for zoom and then select box F1 there. Now we see the cursor and we can draw a box that we want to zoom in on. Let's say we wanted to zoom in right here. We highlight the top right corner, hit EXE. Scroll down to the bottom left, hit EXE again. And we see we've zoomed in on that specific area. Again, we can go back by hitting the Shift F2 or just the F2, scrolling over to the F1 original, press that, and we're back to our original view. We can also trace our functions to find specific values on our graph. To do that, we can hit the Shift F1 or just F1 for trace, and there we see a highlighted cursor on our graph flashing. If we scroll left and right, we see it follows our first function. And here it shows our x value and our y value. So here at x equals minus 1, we have a y value of 0 0.5. We can also scroll to a specific x value by just entering it on the keypad. So let's say we wanted to know what the y value on our graph was at x equals 2. We can just hit 2. There it says enter x value, 2. Hit the exe. Our cursor moves to x equals 2. And now we're at y equals 2.5. Or if we wanted to know what y at x equals 0 is, we just hit the 0 and hit the exe. There we go. Back to x equals 0 and y equals 0 0.5. If we want to scroll over to the other function, we can just hit the up or down arrow. So if we hit down, our cursors jump to our other function, where x equals 0 and y equals minus 1. And again, we can scroll along that function to determine our coordinates. Once we're done with this, we can just hit the exit key to go back to our graphing function menu. And when we're done with all of this, we can just hit the menu key to go back to our main menu. There we go. That covers a bit of the basic graphing on this calculator, but we'll go more in depth in a future video. Thanks for watching. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You got this.